Hello and welcome to our virtual back to school night. Um, my name is Mrs. O'Connor, Betsy O'Connor, and um, if you're watching this, you are enrolled in my 11th grade English class. I'm really excited to meet you and get to know everyone. Um, this is my first year at the school, uh, and so far, so great. So I expect that to continue. Uh, just a little bit about me is that I graduated from the University of Northern Colorado with my degree in English and secondary education. I also graduated with a minor in history. Um, for the past four years, my husband and I have lived in Bolden, um, but for the past four years, I've been teaching up at a charter school in Evergreen. Um, so this is closer and it's bigger and it's a high school. So I'm very pumped about this move. Um, the most important thing about me is that I have a cat named Poe, as you can see on the slideshow. The other picture is of uh, my husband and I when we were in Cuba last summer for my sister's wedding. Before I taught in Evergreen, um, I had a part-time job for just a semester up in Fort Collins teaching at Fossil Ridge High School. Uh, I student taught in a high school and um, I, co I coached debate all throughout my time in college. So I'll be helping out coaching the speech and debate team this year as well. I have quite a bit of experience doing that. So let's talk about what the class goals are. So by the time you leave my class at the end of the year, overall, generally, my goals are for you to be able to think critically, for you to have developed an excitement for reading, or if you already have one, foster that, read some more books. And more than anything, um, my goal is that you leave my classroom being a better human than you came in. Um, so many of you are already wonderful people, but I do strongly believe that the way that we learn and become better people is through literature and through learning. Um, and yes, of course, we're going to learn how to write, we're gonna learn how to read better, we're going to learn how to have conversations with one another when we disagree. But more than anything, my job and what, how I see my job is to make sure that you are a good person and that you know how to treat other people and that you know, we can recognize that people come from different situations, different backgrounds, and that's okay. And what can we learn from them? Um, and we do all of that through literature and through the things that we read. Um, so we're going to have fun. Don't worry. We're going to learn a lot. We're going to have fun. Here are the units, which are subject to change because obviously we're kind of in a weird place right now. But the three main units for this first semester will be analyzing relationships between elements, the elements of narrative writing, and evaluating the power of tones. It's okay if you don't really know what that means right now. We'll figure it out. It just basically means that we're going to be reading and writing and talking about what we've read and what we have written. Um, then just really quick, some expectations for remote learning. Uh, just so that you know up front right away, uh, I expect you to be logged in before class begins. You don't show up to your work shift. If you work at 8.30, you don't show up at 8.30. You show up at 8, or 8.25, but you're ready, right? Same gig here. Uh, I expect for you to have the materials lined up and ready to go. You need to be in a specific place to learn, not your bed and not in pajamas. I know, love my pajamas. I love doing work from bed, but it's important that we keep an air of school about it, you know? Um, and then you're going to be muted during instruction and stay the whole time. Or if you need to leave early, shoot me an email, send me a chat on Zoom, let me know. Um, Communication is going to be the most important thing that we learn and work on this year is you being able to communicate with me and your parents and other people in the class and working our way through that. So it's just a matter of communication. Um, finally, here's where you're going to be able to contact me and get in touch with me, uh, econor at jeffcoschools.us. Uh, I check this most consistently. I am on it pretty frequently. Um, and if we need to have a phone conversation, that's totally fine too. Shoot me an email and we'll set up a time. Um, and this is also, if you have any questions, concerns about anything that's happened in this presentation, just go ahead and shoot me an email. Let me know, introduce yourself. Um, overall, I'm really excited for this year and excited to get to know you and to um, learn together and go on like this honestly very weird, um, very new system with all of you. Um, so I'll see you all soon. Bye.